Hi, in this video, we'll look at how to create or modify correlation rules. A correlation rule is simply a pattern which describes a security incident. Basically, correlation rules tell event log analyzer what to look for in your network logs. Each rule consists of a sequence of distinct events or actions. You can see the complete list of actions on the left menu. To add an action to a rule, simply click on one from this list. Once you have added your desired actions, you can rearrange their order by dragging and dropping them into place. Now specify the time windows between these actions. If the action occurs more than once, you can optionally specify a threshold limit. Specify the minimum number of times the action has to occur and within how much time it has to occur. Next, you can use filters to add conditions and make your rule more well defined. To add filters for an action, click on filter. You can use filters to place conditions on the values of fields within each action. For instance, you can say something like, username starts with a K. You can add more filters and relate them using logical operators like AND or OR. You can also group filters as needed and relate the groups with each other. There are also a couple of other filters you can use. If you choose username is constant, then the correlation module ensures that the username remains the same throughout the various occurrences of the action. You can also compare the value of the username field to fields from other actions using the link to option. And that's how you use the correlation rule builder. Thank you for watching this video.